Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today I am sharing with you some personal finance organization and just how I basically organize my finances so I can budget and save and I can live the lifestyle that I want to live even though I am on a low income. So if you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the notification bells. And um, yeah, let's just get, jump straight into the video. So, um, Basically, I read the book, The Barefoot Investor. If you guys haven't heard of it, it is Australian version of like the Dave Ramsey's uh, books. And although he does do a few things differently, like paying off debts and all that sort of thing. So that's who he is. And basically he has like all these different buckets or accounts that you'd put stuff into. So back in the days, what I would do is I would say, I wanna say $200 a week and put that onto my mortgage and I do that every week. And then the rest of the money I would use as my spending money. So then when bills come in, I was like, hmm, I'm gonna have a very poor week this week. So it didn't really work out. Although, you know, I was still saving money, but it was a struggle some weeks when it shouldn't have been. This system has really helped me get a life, you could say, and has really helped me have, you know, a bit more clarity and a bit more finances around the goals that I want to achieve as well. So the first account that he talks about is a daily expenses account, which I call my bills account. So this is absolutely every bill that you have and you want all your money to go into that account. That's how I've got mine set up. So when my pay comes in, that goes into that account. Then I just have a direct debit go through every week, which will direct debit into the other accounts as well. So how I organize this every month is I actually have templates on a computer. Yes, very old school, I know. I manually type everything up. Uh, but that is because if you look on your phone app and it will have your like your banking app, it will just say bills and it's very, very generic. So you don't actually know where the money is going to. So you could have a really ridiculously high electricity bill or gas bill. And um, you, when you look back at your figures the next year, you can't see where you can actually save money. So you're not actually learning from the financial difficulties or like expenses that you've got coming through. So that's how I organize my bills throughout the year. And then at the end of the year, when I'm actually doing my budget and I'm redoing my budget, I can actually use that as what my bills, my predicted amount of what my bills are gonna be. So that is the money that has to stay in that account each week. Then from that, I can divide the money up into my other accounts. So when you have this set up, you will never ever have to worry about not being able to pay a bill again. Okay, so the other thing that I do um, to allow for that extra money as well in the bills account is I've got on my bills, it will say pay on time. So I always put the amount that is not the pay on time amount. That allows for if the energy provider decides next year, I wanna scrap the pay on time uh, discounts. I think I'm giving away too much. I have allowed for that. But also it allows for other things like unexpected bills to come through, like you need to go to the dentist, you've got a chiropractor appointment, all those sorts of things. I haven't actually added them into my budget, but with this, I haven't had to add them into my budget. And yes, I go to the dentist quite regularly because I did spend 10 grand on my teeth. I do look after them and I will make sure that I get my checkups. I'll make sure that anything that is due, like checkups, cleans, anything like that. And I do see a chiropractor once every four weeks, I think it is. So yeah, that all comes out of that account and I don't have to worry about it because I have used that pay on time thing. But if that does change, um, as I said, if it changes, I'll still be able to afford the bills, but I may have to put a bit more money onto the bills account. So the next account that I have is my splurge account. So this is what I can spend whatever the hell I want on it. So I can go and buy a takeaway coffee every day. And as long as there is money in that account, that I've allowed for. So if I'm giving myself $100 a week spending money, once that $100 is gone, it is gone and I cannot spend any more money than that. So I need to be wise with my money. So if I wanted to save for something like, I don't know, like a pair of Oakley sunglasses or something like that, I would have to spend a bit money, a bit less money each week in my splurge, maybe not have those takeaway coffees. So then I am able to 
save up for that item or do the old fashioned lay by. The next account that he talks about is a smile account. So this is for things that you wanna save up for. So yes, it might be those Oakley sunglasses if that is something that really means so much to you. But for me, it's stuff like holidays or like new equipment for my YouTube channel or something like that, that is going to benefit me more in the long run. That's how I see it. But yeah, he's basically said it's for holidays or big items. Uh, the other thing that I need to really save up for is a bed. So I'll be putting money into that account for holidays and for a new bed. The next account he talks about is the fire extinguisher account. I personally don't have this account because I don't have debts. So I actually put extra money into the mortgage rather than putting it into something that's not existent. So yeah, basically the fire extinguisher account is for any debts that you've got. So say if you've got a car loan, for instance, you de direct debit the money out of your um, main account into that account, uh, which would be, which your repayments for your car loan, for instance, would come straight out of that account. And then he's got something called a Mojo account, which is an emergency account, which he says to have $2,000 in. I personally don't have one of these. Um, I put all my money into my mortgage. I always make sure that I have extra money. So if I do lose my job or I have less hours, I can withdraw off that and I can live off that until I, yeah. But that's just what I do. That is just how I do it. So I haven't, I personally don't do the percentages that he's got on this. I do the percentages that I can afford. So ultimately I work out what my bills are for the week. So if you get paid fortnightly, you'd work out what your bills would be for the fortnight. And that's how much money must stay in that account. Then everything else is split into those other accounts. So if you want to have a savings goal of a certain amount, then you would uh, have your bills account and then you might allow a larger percentage for your savings account and a smallest percentage for your spending account. That is just how I've done, how I have done it personally. Now I'm just gonna share with you how I've done it for last year. Um, <laughs> I didn't actually share this last year because I didn't wanna show you guys my personal information, but uh, I will be earning less this year because I have dropped down one day a week and I need to find clients and I need to get my business up and running. So I still have to do a website marketing and get some more equipment, find some clients. So it's gonna take me a while to even get an income coming in from that job, uh, from my own personal business. So yeah, I've dropped down to three days a week at my paid job. So it's definitely going to uh, reduce the amount that I've got. So yeah, as I said, I'll just show you what I've done from last year. So this was my 2020 budget actually. I just thought I'd grab a different year for you. And these were all the different, um, so basically this is all the breakdown of all the bills that I had and how much it was for me to pay per week. And then it was totaled up to being $600 that I paid in bills. So it is a fair bit of money. You think about it, it's actually a lot of money. Um, that was just for me to live. And you can see my mortgage repayments, $160 per week. Like that is so low as well. So, you know, it's crazy. This is like insurance, food, bills, water, everything on there. So then I come down here. So um, I've divided the income into these accounts. So this was my income per fortnight. And then it ended up to being $600 a week. And then I've divided up the account. So you see it says daily expenses, bills, 450. And it's 450 because I actually added my food into my splurge account. So my splurge account here is $100 spending money week. And then I will add the $150 of food when in there. So I direct debit 250 into this account. And then I'd have $20 for the savings account, which was for the holidays and everything like that. And then an extra $100 um, onto the mortgage. So that's how I worked it out. Uh, only reason why I did food like into my splurge account because I was spending way too much money on food. And the year before I did put it in with bills, but it was chewing into my bill money because it was constantly every week spending way more than what it was. So if I put it into my splurge account, that means that it's eating into my spending money and I have to do it right. So yeah, that's pretty much how I did my finances. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. And if you did, uh, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bells. I do all videos on organizing, guys, organizing, decorating, cleaning. Um, I want to add some videos about productivity and just things that really inspire me and help me live a better life. So 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch up with you guys next week for a new video. I'll see you then. Bye.